guys, this is Zach from Watches on You, and today we are going to be reviewing a watch that's extremely popular, but we have not yet reviewed it. This is the Omega Seamaster Professional Planet Ocean Chronograph. So now we're going to get a closer look at the individual features of this watch. Okay guys, here's the watch in greater detail, and right away here I'm going to go over the watch's 316L 45mm stainless steel case. So the case, as you can see, is rather large, and it, in part it does need to be, as this watch you can see on the dial there, it's got a 600 meter depth rating, so that's 2,000 feet, and that is quite a lot. And I don't think really anyone's going to be actually diving to that depth anyways, but if you want to or can you can with this watch but that contributes a lot to the thickness so with deep dive watches you're obviously going to need an extremely thick, wa thick watch i think omega went a little overboard with this one though i don't think it needs to be that thick because that's like i'd say the same thickness as a rolex deep sea or maybe honestly even a little thicker and that watch goes to far greater depths so but the watch the case is done very well it has great polishing and it looks very nice. It has nice polished lugs which flow from each lug to the other, and that's kind of a signature look of Omega. The brushing is great on the bracelet. It has nice pol it has nice brushed sides as well. Um, it has a lot of weight to it, and that's because of the thickness. I mean, very, very heavy. The clasp is also done very nice. Just a nice brush look with a cool laser engraved Omega logo. Just push button, very comfortable. And I'll show that later in the wrist shot. So now I'm going to move on to the dial and the features. So the dial is a glossy black dial. Now I like the look of that. The only issue with a glossy dial is that you can get glare off of them. Like right there you can see in the light there's quite a bit of glare. But if there isn't glare I think it looks fantastic. So that's just one thing to consider. I don't think it's a deal breaker by all means. But it is one thing to consider about the dial. Now the bezel is a ceramic bezel, in, well it is a ceramic bezel, and it has a loom in the ceramic too, which is a very cool feature which I haven't really seen on many watches, one being the Tudor Pelagos, but I can't really think of any others besides that. Now Omega uses their liquid metal too, so when it's, the numbers are actually metal, it's a special um, zirconium oxide alloy that they use and they actually put it in the ceramic and it gives it a very cool look and it's proprietary of Omega so you really won't see that in any other watches. Now it's a 120 click bezel. The action is very harsh so if you like a very clicky bezel this one is great and it locks down very well. There's a tiny tiny amount of jiggle but um, really there's almost none and the lockup is very good. Yeah, the action though, it's not very smooth, it's very clicky, so if you want a smoother bezel, then I'd say this bezel, you wouldn't necessarily like this that much, but yeah, it's not like the Submariners, it locks down great, it just is clickier. So this watch is also obviously a chronograph. So it is a column wheel chronograph movement in-house made by Omega. It has their coaxial escapement, and the action's very good. You have to use, I'd say, the right amount of force to push both of these. They won't be pushed accidentally, but yet it still isn't so hard that it feels uncomfortable. So this starts and stop it, as you saw that when I started it. So now I'll stop the second hand, and then I'll reset. Boom, right back to the 12 o'clock. Very, very nice action. I love that. I love the feel of flyback. So also on the dial you have a date window at 6 o'clock, just a standard date window, just switches over each day. And there also is this other crown up here. So this is obviously used to set the, the watch, but this crown is not actually a crown connected to the movement at all. It's actually a hel manual helium release valve. And the advantage of having that is that you can do saturation diving where you actually go down in a diving bezel and the pressure is slowly increased as to, um, so you don't get any like sick when you resurface at all or anything so to activate it you simply unscrew it and that you would have it unscrewed in the diving bell which would allow gas to escape so that way the crystal doesn't get pushed off when the pressure is released now you when you go in the water though you have to have that in is this i believe the watch is only water resistant to 50 meters with this open so just make sure that's screwed down screwed down when you dive with it and then you have your full 600 me meters, which is way more than enough, I'd say, for a watch. So now I'll go to a wrist shot. So this watch 
as you saw, and as I've said, is very large. This would definitely not be a watch to wear to work, I'd say, unless you're a diver, actually, then it'd be a great watch to wear to work. But I'd say if you're working in just like a normal, like kind of high rise building business, this would not be the watch. It's very thick, very brash. Um, it wouldn't, I don't think it, it would not look good with a suit, but like on the weekends, it's absolutely perfect. It's got a nice 60R power reserve, so that would basically last. You wouldn't have to wind it that much when you're not wearing it, which is good, as this is really more of a, just a weekend watch. And it is automatic too, so that's also nice to have. But yeah, very, very large. Um, if you like big watches and that's your thing, this is perfect for you. But personally, I'm not a fan of big watches. I think this is quite a bit too large and I would like a more 40 millimeter sized watch. The bracelet though is very comfortable. I haven't felt any hair pinching. Um, very, very nice brushing. It really smooths out the edges and you don't really get scratched at all by anything on it. The clasp is also very, very well made. Um, yeah, just great clasp. So now, so overall, this watch is available here at JB Hudson for $8,450. Now, if you're looking at purchasing this watch, we'll leave some links in the description so you can get more in-depth information about pricing. But thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel and see our others. Thank you.